this video, we're going to be discussing the pancreas, which is located right here, as well as the adrenal glands, which are located on top of the kidneys and the kidneys themselves. The adrenal glands are anatomically divided into the adrenal cortex and the adrenal medulla. The adrenal cortex is stimulated by adrenocorticotropic hormone secreted by the anterior pituitary. There are three zones within the adrenal cortex. Working from the outside in, we have the zona glomerulosa, the zona fasciculata, and the zona reticularis. The zona glomerulosa secretes mineral corticoids such as aldosterone, which act on the kidney to increase sodium and water retention. The zona fasciculata secretes glucocorticoids such as cortisol, which act on many tissues and are seen in responses to stress and the reduction of inflammation. The zona reticularis secretes gonadocorticoids such as androgens which can induce male-like physiological factors. Cushing syndrome is the result of high levels of cortisol, often caused by hypersecretion of the adrenal cortex or hypersecretion of adrenal corticotropic hormone from the anterior pituitary. Addison's disease is the result of low levels of glucocorticoids and often mineral corticoids. The innermost portion of the adrenal gland is the adrenal medulla. The adrenal medulla secretes epinephrine and norepinephrine. These hormones are sympathomimetic, that is they mimic the nervous system. The kidney secretes two hormones. Erythropoietin, which acts on bo red bone marrow to increase red blood cells, and renin. which is used in regulating blood pressure. Now for a closer look at the pancreas, we'll take a look at another model. So here we have a closer look of the pancreas, and just to give you an idea of where we're at, this organ over here is the spleen, and over on the right side we have the entrance to the small intestine, the duodenum. The pancreas is primarily an exocrine gland and is mainly involved in digestive processes. However, about 1% of the tissue is endocrine tissue and it is spread throughout the pancreas in specialized areas known as pancreatic islets. Two of the hormones that we are going to look at are secreted in these pancreatic islands. The first one is glucagon, which is secreted by the alpha cells, and insulin, which is secreted by the beta cells. Glucagon acts on the liver to raise blood glucose levels. Insulin targets the liver, skeletal muscles, smooth muscles, as well as adipose cells to lower blood glucose. A hyposecretion of insulin is known as diabetes mellitus and is characterized by the three polys, polydipsia, polyphagia, and polyuria.